welcome back to the channel i am popping on with a project share of some cards i've been making some of them i've made over mm, the last couple of weeks but most of them i've made over the last few days so i just wanted to share some of them with you so we'll start with this one this one is from um part of a kit that i got from the range a while back from it was by paper mania and i just used a 12 by 12 sheet this is 250 gsm and um made my own card and you can see i've got the wee um dovecraft peril effects here so that's the first one that i done and then i've got this one these has just got me punch outs on it and again it's the same kit and just a a card made out of a paper or card pack then i've got this one this is a wedding card you see it's got the mr and missus on the top and the bride and groom at the side and i used the crafter's companion dies down the side and a large chandelier just put some paper in the middle and this is from the love stories um paperback by Trimcraft, and then i just cut out a wee um, shape for in the middle and I've got this one again that's from that paper pack and on some card this one I just made using some dies um, what die is that? oh that is a header die that I've put back to back on a piece of card and then I've got this die which is the big archway it says love forever and then I've got the bride and groom in the middle and I just added some ribbon and some gems. This one's a baby card. I'll just let you see the front of it. It's got the wee baby pen. These are made with die cuts as well and just some paper and I just um, aged the edges of the paper. And then it flips open. And this is from, this paper that's on this is from the Trim Craft Baby Girl Pack. I die cut out a wee cot. And it's got baby girl die cut out on the bottom and it's a weasel card for a baby girl so i think that one's quite cute then i made this winnie the pooh card as you see i've just got some winnie the pooh paper and it just says smile fun and shine and then i die cut out the banner this is actually the winnie the pooh embossing folder that i just embossed and cut out and then if you open it up I've made it into a 3D card. So you've got Tigger again, that was from the embossing folder. I just cut him out and I embossed the honeycomb down the edge. And I've just got some of the paper in the background. So I think that's a really cute one. And then I've got this one that I made again with die cuts. And I just used my inks and I made a bow and this paper this was from a kit as well that i got from the range and i've just put happy birthday and it's got like lace and all sorts on it i think this is really quite an elegant card and it's got like the heart chipboards and, and then the piece to write on is on the inside so i love that card i think that is really elegant and i made a peter rabbit one this is from a kit and then I used this fancy edger die um, from AliExpress that I got to cut out that. And then I made some flowers and just put a button in the middle and some gems. This one, again, from a, I made this from a paper pack and I've just added some washi and I've got a stick pin here, a wee frame and I made my own flowers and put some glitter on them. And cut out this is a die cut so that's that one it's a happy birthday one this is these are more from the same kit again using the the peril effects and that one's a 3d decoupage this one it's just got die cuts on it again using the paper pads these paper pads are 250 gsm and they're the ones that you get from the likes of um the range and bnm so that's 
that one. Need another couple from the same sort of idea. Except these are die cuts, and I made this die cut and the die cut butterfly. And again, got the paper on the inside. This one, and this time I've made it from this paper or card. I keep saying paper, but it's 250 GSM card. So I do usually decorate the insides of my cards, but when I was doing so many, I just thought I would decorate them as I needed them. So I've just matted and layered this one and used the topper. So that was really nice. And this one. So that one has been punched out at the edges. And I've used the embossing folder and just sanded it back. And another embossing folder along the bottom. This one's a wee simple one. I just used the tags and the embellishments from the pack. From the paper. And the card. This one's a wee simple one again. This time using the spotty paper. And this paper is in the inside. This one. Which I've done, I've torn the paper and then just used some die cuts. I did a bow and made my flower and just some bling. Here's another Winnie the Pooh one that I made. I just die cut out the centre and used some ribbon and some bling. I stamped these flowers and coloured them in. And then I cut him out with the paper pad. And if you open it up, it's got some more Winnie the Pooh paper and it just says have a happy day. This one I absolutely love. I made this a while back actually. Um, I think I made this on my channel. I'm not sure. But I love this. It's another easel card. And it's very shabby chic. And I just think it is ultra cool. And really cute. And I don't know if I'm here. But I don't know. So I love that one. That was just using the paper pad and cutouts. This one. With the wooden letters and the bird cage. Bird. And these are really quite simple, these cards. It's just about adding your colours and your embellishments. And then I made this Olaf and Elsa card. It's for a Christmassy, wintery sort of birthday. And I just stamped it inside with the frozen stamps. Oops. Here is another wee Winnie the Pooh one. I've got something sticking on the bottom there. I don't know what that's, okay. It's just got the Winnie the Pooh ribbon, the die cuts, and I coloured this one in. And then it's got the paper in the inside. This card I absolutely love. This is from the kit as well. And you can see I've die cut loads of different triangles with the stitching. I've added different strips of paper. I've matted and layered it all. I've got ribbon on it. Um, I die cut a butterfly. The happy birthday. And I've got a mixture of craft card. Um, and coloured card in here. I love that one. I think that's really nice. This one, which is upside down. So you can see I made quite a few and I've still got lots of this kit left. Um, so I had fun using it. This one I use, made using, this is an embossing folder, an A4 embossing folder. So I embossed the gold with the feathers, then I embossed the cream and aged it. Cut out some of the feathers. It says happy birthday, remember this moment. And then I cut out the dream catcher. I think that is a really cute card as well. And then this one is like a wee wedding or engagement card. This says on your special day. It's got the two swans and I die cut out the horseshoes. This one is a really pretty card. This one opens up like so. And as you see, I've got the rings here. This gorgeous border and then you write in the inside and I've got the bling and this is actually ribbon and lace and then on the front I have this gorgeous die cut I've got bling I aged the paper I've got another die cut loads of um, ribbon and bling and it's got a wee couple so it's just multi-layering this one I think it's really sweet and this one is another wedding one. <coughs> you can see I've used the doily in the background of this one. And I aged all the paper and stained it all. Used to be, I've used a doily using the flowers, some flowers that I made. And the vines, these are all um, die cut vines. 
I think the paper on this is really gorgeous. And then I die cut out the frame and then I just put some ribbon round it with some bling. So I like that one. This one um, is the happy birthday. And I just done some more die cutting, then I've got a wee button, some lace, and this one sits like this. And then the inside it's got your lace and your papers. So it's another nice one. Then we've got this one, which again is really cute. I've just die cut out some shapes, used the paper as the main topper, punched out some, made a bow with my ribbon and put this wee popper on the bottom. It's nice, this is on this card. So that's that one. This one I used a kit from um, Hunky Dory that I bought. Um, I can't remember what the kit's called. It says, to the most special person I know. And then it's got the paper on the inside. And it's got, just for you, and it stands like that. I think that's a really nice card as well. If you're into those colours. Here's another relatively simple one. Just with die cuts and papers. And that's on this card. And I think for this pile, that is about it. So I hope you like the wee cards that I've made. I had lots of fun making them. Um, I think probably that one and oh, quite hard to pick a favourite actually. I like quite a lot of them. I like these two. I think these are really nice. It's like a mixture of sort of shabby chic and vintage. So they're sweet. So thank you for having a wee look at my cards. If you like this video, please give me a wee thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you all again soon with my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.